controls are basically light filters, but instead of report editor, they are built for the report viewer. Again, they will help people in slice and dice data. They will help people limit the values, the data shown on charts to different categories of a dimension, exclude or include. The exact same way that we did it with filters, but as you saw, filters were applied at the properties of a chart and they were not visible in the view mode and the viewer cannot know or change it. But controls are built for the viewer. We as the editor decide what kind of um, changes do we want to allow them to apply on data? What kind of filters do we want do we want to provide them the ability to apply to the data? With the controls, we can also get user input for the parameters, which we will see in the next session, not today. But other than that, we can help the report viewer with a control to change the underlying data set, to set the time frame for the report by a date range control, which I'm sure you've already used, filter data, and set promising values. Let's talk about the first one, which is a data control, not a date control. <clears throat> so data control basically allows the report viewer to connect the report to another account of the same tool that they have access to. So as the viewer of this report, if John connects to this report, they will see a different set of Google Analytics views to this report. If Fernando connects to the reports, he will see a different set of accounts based on whatever the current user's email address that is logged into Google has access to. So if someone loads this report in an incognito view or in a browser that they are not logged into any Google account, Google doesn't know which data, which account or view or property they have access to. So Google basically doesn't even show this control to them and it results in confusion. But for the people who are logged in, they can connect it to another view that they have access to. But there are some limitations. First of all, it is only for Google connectors. So for Google Ads, Google Analytics, et cetera, et cetera. It's not for any connector that we have access to, just for Google. The viewer must be signing into the Google accounts in order to use this feature. It doesn't work in embedded reports. So if you create this report and embed it in a web page, it doesn't work. And it doesn't work with community visualizations for some reason that I can explain as well. So here I have some belts in visualization and a community visualization, which is this rotary. If I change it to show traffic from my own website, sealock.com, first of all, the community visualization breaks because it doesn't work with this. And the reason, if you want to know what is the reason in the background, is that Google trusts their own built-in visualization. So Google trusts this table, trusts this scorecard to be able to access to this Google Analytics account and show data. But Google does not trust the community visualization the same way they trust their own visualizations. And as the viewer, I don't have any mechanism to allow and say, Google, I'm okay. You can provide data from this view that I have access to this third party community visualization. And Google does not want to risk that because if I, were, if I click on this and if I click on GMO, G, GA demo account, which is the default data source on this report, I can see that there is community visualization access I had to allow Data Studio to provide data from the data source to the community visualization. I did that. But because we don't know who views the report and to which property do they connect it to, right? Then they will be the same. It is good for creating kind of lead magnets. It's good for creating different kind of templates, which you do not know who uses. And the kind of reports that they work with kind of a generic setup within that type of tool, like in generic setup in Google Analytics, you generate expected setup in Google Ads. That's very custom because then you're basically counting on the values and dimensions that are in those terms. Any questions about this?